now rewrite some expressions eliminating negative exponents. So where there is a negative exponent, we will eliminate it. To remind us of what the negative exponent rule is, recall that x to the negative n equals 1 over x to the n. So in English, this means that when you take a number or an object and raise it to a negative exponent, you are performing a reciprocal. So what's important for us doing this problem right now is that it doesn't mean things move to the bottom. This rule right here is not saying things move to the bottom. It's saying that they get reciprocal. So things that are on top move to bottom, and things that are on bottom move to the top. So, first problem. Negative 5, y to the negative 5. Negative 5 at the beginning, the front negative 5 is not being exponentiated. X in order of operations would indicate that exponent negative 5 is being applied to y, but negative 5 in front is a multiplication. So that would not be performed first. The negative 5 as an exponent is not being applied to the negative 5 number. Therefore, negative 5 just remains where it is. On the other hand, because of the rule for negative exponents, the y being raised to the negative 5 would be reciprocal down to the denominator. So it's still a y to the fifth. It doesn't become a negative number. It's still y to the fifth, but the negative exponent indicates that we rewrite it in the denominator with a positive exponent, and that is the final answer. On the second problem, here we have, let's see, a 1 on the top and a negative 2 on the bottom. And we have a y being raised to the power of negative 4 in the denominator. In the denominator. So, what we'll do is we'll take that y to the negative 4 in the denominator and reciprocate that up to the top. So I'll put a y to the positive 4 in the numerator. Again, a negative exponent moves to the other side of the fraction line. So since the negative exponent is on the y in the denominator, it becomes a positive exponent in the numerator. Notice that the number, negative 2, is not being raised to any exponent. It does not have a little exponent on it at all. So the negative 2 is going to remain in the bottom. For politeness sake, when I write these in exams or something like that, I usually like to write negative y to the fourth. Over 2. In other words, I'd like to pull that negative sign out in front. Now pause the video for a second and try to do this last one. I put a couple of negative exponents in this one to see if you could figure out what it is. But assuming you took a shot here, pause for a second, have something written down on your scratch paper. The correct answer to this one should have been, would have a fraction line, and the 4 is untouched because it doesn't have a negative exponent. It so it stays right there as a 4. The n that's raised to the negative 3 gets shifted to the denominator because it was on top as a negative exponent, so now it's on the bottom as a positive exponent. And the x to the power of negative 2 gets shifted up to the numerator because it was a negative exponent in the denominator, hence it becomes a positive exponent in the numerator. Final answer? 4x squared over n.